Okay, for today's homework 324, what I'm going to have you do is listen to me explain this key again, write down the five words, and then I'm going to give you another set to practice and turn in tomorrow. So what you're going to turn in tomorrow, proof that you listen, write down the five words, and then at the end when I show you problems to try on your own, do those. All right, so here we go. For this, again, this is me showing a quarter turn to the right has you take the points, flip them around, and make the right one the opposite. So you can see that 3, 5 became 5 and then negative 3. If I did a quarter turn to the left, I would flip those same two coordinates around, but that left one would be opposite. So again, you can see when I flip this around, I made then that 3 that used to be positive, negative. Don't make five negative, just the one that you're turning to. This one, I flipped it around, and after that, made the left one the opposite. And then just remember, if I say do a 270 turn, that is not a rule for that. If I was to turn 270, we'll go all the way to here. But remember, there is no rule for the 270 turn. If I say do 270, that is a quarter turn to the left in disguise. Know that. So if I did 270 clockwise, that's really a 90 degrees counterclockwise turn. Flip it, turn it to the left, negative. First word is sky. Sky. All right, next problem. This one, again, you're doing the same adjustment timesing everything in that bottom row by negative 2. That will give you this situation where the a's cancel away, 6a, and then negative 2 times 3 gives me negative 6 to cancel. And then, of course, times everything by negative 2. Know your negative rule. Show the work. Divide by negative here, not just by 11. And then know that these answers, these are apples and banana prices. That's the price per apple price for each banana. That's what those numbers mean. Second word is mountain. Mountain. All right, for this, you had to write the inequalities of this system. So this first line, remember, write one, I'm sorry, write two, down one. That is your negative one-half slope. Remember, that's where I got this number right here. Four is my y-intercept. And then, of course, this is shading below. That's why my inequality right here went down. The other line in blue, starting here at negative 2. That's my y-intercept number. And then over 1, up 1 for this one's slope, 1 over 1, or x, 1x. One x. And then shading below. If I want a line parallel to line A, which is this line right here, a parallel line has the same slope of that one. So any line with that same slope, but a different y-intercept is parallel. So here's one starting at two, different y-intercept, but still going right two, down one. So there's me drawing a parallel line, same slope, different y-intercept. The harder one is the perpendicular, which you need to take the line that you're doing perpendicular to, this one again, and then flip it and do the opposite. For the perpendicular line, it does not matter where I start. I could start at any dot, but as long as I'm going right one up two through those two dots, it will always give me a line perpendicular. It doesn't matter where I start. As long as I'm going over one up two will give me a perpendicular line. My line is right here. I just chose it to be right there going over one up two. Third word is lake, lake. All right, this problem, you had to graph this one by solving it for y first, and then of course over one, down four from that number in front of x, less than or equal to solid line shade below. For the other one, I showed how to do slope intercept form, but I'm going to cross that off because I'd like you to use this method where I plug in 0 for a y, 
and solve for x. That's the x-intercept right here. Or plug in right here y and solve for x. I'm sorry, plug in x right here is 0 and solve for, for y right here. This is y. I can fix that. Because again, that will give you the two points that I'd like you to graph only the y-intercept point 0, 03 and then the x-intercept point 1.50. So really, I'd like you to graph this using the plug-in zero trick. Zero for y gives you the x-intercept. Zero for x gives you the y-intercept. Fourth word is study. The problems I'd like you to do, I will show you. I'd like you to try these on your own. Write this graph on your graph paper. Write these points exactly. This is 3, 2. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 9, 1. Plot these points exactly. I want you to do a rotation 90 degrees clockwise to the right where each point flips and the right one becomes opposite. And then I want a back to this part, the pre-image a quarter turn counterclockwise to the left. I also want you to be able to solve this one where you're times in the bottom row by negative two. Again, always gonna make that same adjustment, solve for A and B. I'd like you to do this one right here where I give you the equation of two lines with their run and their rise. I need you to be able to find the slope of these two lines, write the inequalities. These are one is shading more, the other one's shading under, so my inequality is going to be both ways. And then I want you to draw a line parallel to line G, which will be through a different Y number, but with that same slope that you're getting. And then a line perpendicular to line G, which means any point you start at, if you do that negative reciprocal slope to this slope right here, it will cross it at a perfect 90 degree angle. And then the last one, solve this one for a Y, graph it. And then for this one, do it using two points only. For the X intercept, plug in zero right here for Y, solve for X. For the Y intercept, plug in zero right here for X, solve for Y. So this graph should have only two points on it when you graph it. All right, the last word is hard hard. Good luck. See you tomorrow or see you Monday actually.